this video is um, going to be just a quick one on um, how to kind of start working out improvisation while keeping the baseline going to a complango. Um, so I'm going to do it with um, Jaraby. So you can do this even if you don't know how to play uh, the piece Jaraby. I'll just explain the bass line. So we're going to just do the um, left hand or the left thumb. So the bass line goes like this. Okay, so what that's doing, we'll be starting on number three, yeah, which is the D. We play that two times. And then we come down to number two here, which is the C, once. And then we go back to number three again, play it twice. So. And then back to C again. Okay, and so you've done that, and then you move up to number four two times again, but you come back to number C, same one, and then again, so each form's twice, okay, so I'll play that again. Okay, so that's the bass line to uh, Jeremy. I, I'm going to do another video and actually um, you know, show the whole thing and how to do it properly with the right side and the bits of uh, melody and stuff. But for now, this is just kind of another exercise. So what we're going to do is try and keep um, fingers are going to do this back and forth. It doesn't matter which notes you play. Um, I'm doing the E here and um, F here. So the E is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the F is one, two, three, four. Okay, so okay, then we're gonna bring in that thumb pattern that I was just doing on the left side at the same time, so like this. starting to kind of get used to separating the actions of the fingers and the thumbs um, and then you can just move up to a different place here when you've got comfortable and try another one and you can just try it in different places so you get used to that so I'm just going to talk you through in detail what I'm doing here so I'm starting so when you play the first um, note here which is the third one down from the, from the lowest the D we're playing this side, the, the fourth one down, the F. Okay, so it's, so we go. Okay. Okay, now we need to put the, the second D in, so. And this time, this D is played with, with the E on this side. Okay, so it's like this. So one time it's this side, one time it's this side. Let me continue on doing that. So. Okay, and then when we come down to the C here, we play again the F with it. Together we have. Okay. Okay. We do one more here on the right side. It's E, so it's a So 
yeah. that's just the one when you're on the D. Then we move up to the the second part, which is on the the E. This is exactly the same, basically, except instead of coming to the D here, you're coming to the E here. So we start with this F and this E. The fourth one from the bottom and the fourth one from the top. And we do the same. So everything's the same, but instead of playing this one, we're playing this one. And again, come to the C, which stays the same, that bit. Okay, so we do each one two times, okay? So we try that all together, nice and slowly, starting with the D. Then we change up to the other one. So then what you want to do is try it in a different place. So instead of doing uh, you know number four and number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we do number six and number three and just try it there. Same feeling, same pattern. Okay, so then when you've got used to that, what you can do is start moving up and down like this. Same feeling. start playing around with it and you get more comfortable and more confident with it you can just kind of um, kind of be more free with it and then you can start adding in different rhythms and different feelings so like which go something like that um, so um, yeah and then you can try double time and different things of like that I might do other videos on different ways you can do that, different ways you can approach it. You can also swap it around the other way. So instead of starting on, uh, so both both starting on the left side, you can do starting. And it's a bit more tricky that way. So it's like that. So it's the exact same thing, but you're starting this side with the right finger instead of starting with the the left finger um yeah so you can just play around with it try it and yeah let me know how you find that and if that was clear or not i'm not sure how clear that was so um yeah i'll be uploading much more videos at the moment lots of free time so i'm going to be uh doing that so let me know um if you would like me to do anything particularly and i'll try and do that for you okay great